Welcome back. I hope you mastered that idea. Sometimes it takes a serious aha for a student to get it. So be patient with yourself. You will get it. Here's my count vowels function. Some text comes in. Start at zero with my count. I go through each character in the text. I lowercase it so that I didn't have to type so much here. If the character that comes out of that for loop is in my string of vowels, then I add one to the count and return that count. Well, that's a simple function. Here's my test. You'll see that I am doing several tests. In fact, three. Here's one test. The other string goes on to here. These three strings get concatenated together in the interpreter because there's nothing but white space between them. And then the third test is the empty string. It's always a good idea to do the one and the empty because a lot of errors lie there. And I print count vowels, so I get 0, 22, and 0 from that. Okay. Line 20 is the important line. It has our trick. Magic name equals magic main. Let's use it in another module. Here I'm importing it. Lab 120 underscore 1. I'm going forever asking for something from the user until we're not given something. I give a report of how many vowels are in the text that the user gave me. And we see here that I go in there with my dot, count my vowels of what I was given. It's my habit to do the line 14. Here it doesn't make a lot of sense because what's this going to do if it doesn't do the main? And here we see some more phrases going in. When I import it, lab 120, I get this lovely formatted help output. Thank you, interpreter.